Hey there everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another Pokemon video. Of course, this time around it is a Gudra sweep. Gudra is a very, very cool Pokemon that no one ever seems to use, and I don't really understand that because it's super good and it's one of my favorites. So, very excited here because it's a Gudra sweep. Like, come on. So, the set is very awkward. It is Rest, Sleep, Talk, Curse, Dragon Tail, which means I can't hit Fairy Pokemon. So, unfortunately, this is a 5 Pokemon sweep as opposed to a 6. Would have loved to knock out the floor, just trust me, but I can't touch it literally cannot touch it the only thing i could do with gudra is toxic stall it out and that's if it doesn't remove its status or constantly heal and switch out and just moon blast me to death which is uh something i probably would have to deal with so yes i do it in fact have to deal with the fairy pokemon before i can set this up so there's a lot of flaws to the set there really is it's very luck based but once you set up there's so much bulk there that the luck should go in your favor a little bit because you're going to be taking hits no matter what. Uh, so that, that's always a plus. My team's really cool. It's an RU team that I made specifically to try and do some work with Gudra. Uh, Power Fusion going on with Slowbro Machamp. We have dedicated, you know, Hazard guys. We got a lead Roserade with Sash, Toxic Spikes, and Spikes. We got. Don fan with rocks. We also had a Magmar on the team. Magmar apparently did not have enough surprise factor because I guess Magmar is an actual threat. I don't know. So I had to change it out for somebody faster and stronger, which is Rapidash, which I don't mind. I like this a lot more than Magmar anyway. So it's a cool team. It's very fun to use, and I'm very excited that I got something to work here. Looking at my opponent's team, very, very worried. Honchkrow, if it sets up, it has super effect coverage for a majority of my team. The floor just is going to be super annoying to deal with. I can only really hit it with maybe Machamp, Donphan, uh, Rapidash, and Roserade, but he's probably not going to want to stay in on those things and take a lot of hits, so it's going to be very difficult. Uh, Fortress, I don't want him spinning away my hazards. I kind of need them. I need to get like two layers of Toxic Spikes up to deal with floor just, but he also has a Needle Queen, which is also very annoying, and if that... Kingdra is special, I'm probably going to lose the game because I can't really deal with the special Kingdra, but we, we'll see what happens. Uh, one last thing to mention is I was battling this guy in UU. I beat him, and he goes, if this was RU, I'd beat you. So I said, okay, I'll challenge you. And I went to the lobby, found him, challenged him to a game, and, uh, you know, got a Gujar sweep out of him, so <laughs> I'm not complaining here. Looking at his team, I'm expecting Needle Queen or Fortress to lead off here, so gonna go ahead and decide to lead off with my Rapidash. So my opponent does in fact lead off with the Fortress, which is fine because I let off with Rapidash. I feel comfortable going for a Flare Blitz here, no matter what he's gonna want to do. Kingdra comes in, it's four time resisted, but it takes us all 25% from that, so that's great. It really is. Uh, very afraid of Special Kingdra. Go out to Slowbro. It's the only thing on my team that wants to take any special hit. He does in fact reveal the Waterfall. And I get to see its life orb, so I'm assuming it's some kind of Dragon Dance variant, and I uh, feel really good now because Slowbro can deal with it. Go for Thunder Wave because I want to cripple it. He actually goes to Honchkrow right away, which kind of scares me because I'm thinking I'm going to get knocked off, but it turns out Honchkrow actually doesn't get knocked off. So, nice slash crit maybe. I don't know. Sucker Punch, I don't really want to mess around with it. I decided to go to Don Fan immediately because I can take some hits. He was just going for Brave Birds though, which is fine. We get my rocks up um, at this point just thinking I don't really want to deal with Honchkrow shenanigans so I'm gonna sack Donphan yes he's gonna get the moxie but he's paralyzed and he's got very very low health pretty much I can do whatever I want and knock it out here decide to go out into Roserade gonna play some mind games with him just thinking oh well, you know I'm Sash I can lead off or I can go into it knock you out I'm not afraid he goes for sucker punch fails because I'm deciding to set up hazards then he reveals roost and I'm like uh I kind of wish I dealt with you now. Don't really want to do this, so let's go for a Sludge Bomb here as he decides to go out to Fortress. Fortress is going to take a lot of damage from the Hazards, but unfortunately I can't touch him because I'm double Hazards, so I'm forced to switch out. He gets a free Rapid Spin off. Really wish that I didn't have one of the Spikes and I had HP Fire at that point. So, uh, just again, feel free to go for a Flare Blitz. I do 24% this time. He's below half. That's that's fine with me. I don't have to deal with this Kingdra. I go out to Slowbro as he actually double switches out into Florges, I guess, predicting me to do something um, along these lines, I guess. And uh, he's going to try and set up a Wish here and pass it over to Kingdra. Either way, I just want to go for T-Wave. I want 
either floor just paralyzed so he can't wish sometimes or do something or if he does in fact go into kingdra to get it back up to full i want that thing paralyzed he does go into kingdra though and then he doubles back out into floor just after getting the wish off he's going to start going for moon blast as i'm just going to go for a scald i want this thing burned i i got up a t-wave on something so that's fine um it it's an uphill battle i can't win at this point i can slack off and be at a, like an okay amount of hp every time he moon blasts me but I can't really touch him. He's just going to generate more HP than I'm going to be able to do. So, yeah. So, I had to go out to Rapidash here, and he goes for a Moonblast. I know I can take it. I decide to go for the Flare Blitz because, again, nothing on his team really wants to deal with it. If Kingdra wants to come in, it's going to take another 20 something percent, which is fine. He protects. I guess he expects me to switch out here knowing that the Kingdra is going to come in because it's pretty obvious. So, he over predicts, I'm assuming, and just kind of dies which is fine with me because now i can set up with my gudra kingdra comes in just gonna flare blitz it because i don't have a point of keeping rapid ash alive anymore honestly other than the fortress but i don't have that much health and if he gets rocks up i'm not gonna get rid of him so i kind of got to deal with it uh fortress is just annoying i'm gonna go for a dynamic punch on it he does manage to get confused i decide to go out to gudra because if he wants to start setting anything up i'm going to take advantage of this as he actually did try to go for the rocks as we're going to see rocks here he knows now that he can't touch me and he's going to want to go into something that can't touch me so i'm going to decide to go for a dragon tail hope that i hit he actually brings in the kingdra which is just perfect and i hit it for a one shot because of super effective damage and everything so super awesome there Nita Queen comes in. I know I'm especially bulky. Anything he wants to go for, I can tank. So I'm just going to set up a curse again. I don't want to take a third Ice Beam though. So I am in fact going to go for a Dragon Tail as the Ice Beams again. Bring out the Haunch Crow and I'm hoping at this point I can survive something. He doesn't have a Life Orb and he's paralyzed. He manages to get paralyzed and I get a rest off which is just awesome uh, we see brave bird do 38% here which means I should have been able to live the brave bird but I don't know damage variations or anything so I just I don't really want to risk it I sleep talk the curse just getting more and more set up and I'm feeling pretty good because he gets paralyzed again and this is why I have paralysis on this team to help Udra set up sleep talk a second curse feeling really really good decide that i think it's time to get rid of haunch crow i don't want to really risk it or anything just gonna go for a dragon tail anything in this team i'm not sure if it's going to want to touch me but nido queen can't really hit me for a knockout unless it gets a crit so i'll just rest up on it it brings an embor does 34 percent on a plus four gudra and i'm thinking to myself that's banded that's scary good thing i go for a rest here because i did not want to deal with that um just gonna start sleep talking again there's not really much i can do he decides to go to nita queen but unfortunately i with the roll of a dice do manage to hit dragon tail and take it out uh, he was probably thinking at me on the special side because if he can hit me enough then Embor might be able to take me out with a choice man at hammer arm uh, which is also pretty funny because every time he goes for hammer on he's going down to speed because of the uh, gooey ability but he can't touch me he really can't he's getting weaker and weaker as I set up it's just luck based at this point whether I manage to hit things I'm gonna go for a dragon tail because I want to get damage off on this thing get rid of it I know if he goes out to fortress which he's forced to do I can go for a rest and set back up to full HP and just deal with it decides to go for a an earthquake which is fine because he can't really touch me i don't know if he's trying to crit me i don't know if he thought i was going to go for another dragon tail don't want to go out to embor and lose it it's his only way of dealing with me as i sleep talk another curse so keep setting up on this thing he really really just can't touch me still doing solid damage though i i will admit that's a choice band hammer arm doing 22 percent to a pretty much fully set up gudra i sleep talk the dragon tail and i know barring a crit which will not knock me out because gudra is tanky he can't do anything he'd have to hit like two or three crits in a row with moves and that's fine i get a crit of my own dragon tail just kind of reduces the amount of time needed to knock him out 
Thankfully enough, my opponent does decide to stick around because, you know, people on Showdown don't like to finish battles anymore because, oh, well, I lost, so oh, a good game, leave, you don't even say anything else. So, I do want to thank my opponent for sticking around and let me finishing their entire team off with Gudra. It's very, very nice. Uh, so that was the Gujar Sweep. I thank you all so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, stick around for more content in the future. And until then, I will see you all next time.